All right, welcome back to our top 100. We are the Drakes. This is... I'm Brian. And I am Carla Drake, and today we are going to do our number 41 through 50. It's a heck of a list. Getting closer to the top. To the top. This is a good list. You want to go first or you want me? Go for it. My number 50 is a game that I just recently did a preview for the expansion. That would be Deliverance. No banjos here, no hillbillies. This is a game all about angelic warfare. Uh, it reminds me of Frank Peretti's This Present Darkness coming to life in game form. Great art, great mechanics, cool campaign. Really hits me home. I love this game. Deliverance, my number 50. 50. All right, we are halfway through our list at this point. My number 50. Remember I said you could slap a Marvel theme on it and I instantly like it better? It is Marvel Remix. True. It's a quick game. It's a fun game. And I've taught several people this. We'll play it at Thanksgiving with our entire family, and it's great. You get to build your little team of superheroes, and whoever's got the best team gets the most points. That's it. It's, you never have more than a certain amount of cards in your hand at one time, so you're just playing the best so you hand. You can either take a card that's face up in the middle, or you can draw blind. And you know how that goes sometimes. Drawing blind is hard because you can't see the paper. Oh, draw it from the top of the deck, but I got gotcha. you. <laughs> is, like Carla also said, you slap the Disney theme on any game, it's better. This is Disney Lorcana. Boy, oh boy, this was a hot ticket last year when it came out. Now it's available everywhere, which is nice, but I love the art in this game. I really like how the game plays, and I love that they're slow rolling the extra mechanics to make it more difficult so that younger players can play. Disney Lorcana. Okay, so here's the thing. Mm -hmm. I find you to collect that more than play it. That's the downside. I haven't played it as much as I've collected it. And really then I did love watch it. you play in a tournament. I went 0 for 6, you know, it was good. And then I quit, I was like, hey, I got no point in beating this. Take me off the list. But Disney Lord Con, my number 49. All right, number 49 has been mentioned before for you. Though. It has. It has. Um, again, I like polyomino games. This is World Wonders. I love games in which you are laying out your polyominoes and collecting the World Wonders. You spend things, what, do you, what are those things called? You spend Coins. You spend your points. <laughs> Money. You spend your monies, which is an old track, and then you buy polyominoes. Oh, you're right. It is an old place. track. I forgot about it that. Is. I That's why I was asking if it was monies. Yeah. Resources point. to get your polyominoes, and when you complete certain things, you get to put nice little 3D meeple world. Screen printed too. Wonders? Yeah, they're wonders. I know, but I, I was wondering. Never mind. Yeah, they're great. Uh, That's great. We love this game. My number 48 is Smartphone Inc. Oh my gosh. All you have to do is this symbol, this hand gesture right here, and everybody knows you're talking about you like the way you choose your actions in Smartphone Inc. You have these little tiles, and you put them over each other and cover it up, and whichever ones you have showing are the benefits plus negatives that you get for that round. I love this game. I have literally never came in second in this game. No, she dominates in this game. Like, the first time we ever played it on the cruise, it was like, I think we played it at Chris and Wendy the first time we ever played it. She slaughtered us, so. Great game. You can set the prices. You can get in someone else's territory. Market manipulation. That's it. That's it's exactly what it is. Love smartphone ink. That's my number 48. All right. My number 48 is a word game, and I don't get to play it that often because people don't play word games with me very often. She's ridiculously good at but word it's games. it's more of a deduction than a word game. It is, actually, this is, yeah. This is hooky. Everybody has um, letters in their hands, mm -hmm. and you were trying to figure out what the five letters of you, middle yeah, are, yeah, basically, and it's fun. And you're also, don't you get points for knowing what other people have? Yes, yeah, so you are deducing what they're using because you have to give a word clue, and that's going to tell you uh, how many letters they have or whatever. So, really good, hooky. My number 47 is on the list, but the Star Wars game version of this is not, and this is Crisis Protocol. It it reminds me so much of Hero Clicks, and it's so good. The miniatures are great. It's a pain in the behind to put together because you got to snip it and glue it. Not as fun there, but I love the way this game looks. Oh, it's so much fun because you can do things like you, it feels like you, you're playing a game. You put a piece of train, like an actual car or miniature out there. Hulk can pick that up and throw it. You know, Spider Man can swing stuff. It's just really, really well done thematically. So, Crisis Protocol, great miniatures, great theme, fun game, and right. tons of expansions for it. Right, so. Number 47 for me is the only failed game, I believe. Uh -huh. Don't hold me to that. That made my list. So you know there's certain parameters there, and we'll describe that. Um, Trajan is Trajan. my number 47. You know, you have 
this many rounds with this many turns in each round to get things done. That's the one that's got the cookies in it, right? Uh, it's bread. Bread and circuses. Yeah, I, this is my favorite fell game, too. This and Notre Dame, but Notre Dame didn't make up my list, but I'd put this higher oh, than Trajan. Like I would put Trajan higher. Yeah, good good choice. That's a really good one. It's a, nothing to look at. It's not like you're like, wow, what is that game? And we have, like, the old version. We don't have any of the new releases that they did. Yeah, really great game. Good choice. My number 46 is what Carla alluded to earlier. Actually, she did it off camera, but we were talking about this. Chocolate Factory. I love this game because you put stuff on an assembly line and it goes down the conveyor belt. Well, like, I do love chocolate. And I love that Lucy episode. I knew that was coming. Yeah. That is the, one of the best, most iconic I love Lucy episodes. I think so, too. That and when they're stomping the line out. But that, it's just such a good game. Like, you take raw cocoa, cacao and you turn it into better chocolate you turn that into better chocolate by the end of the assembly line depending on what you've done you can sell to make orders man i love this game that would be chocolate factory number 46 for me is a game that you've already said on your list it's very similar to white castle the white castle which was on my list earlier but this is the red cathedral oh, so good. um he's already mentioned it but there's a rondelle you're moving your dice that Based on the face of the dice around the rondelle, you are decorating the ornate cathedrals. You're or, or, or ornifying. I think he said something about you're ornating yeah. it, but yeah. that's not actually not a word. word. So that's my number 46. Yeah, that's a good choice. I, we played this just the other week, uh, like literally two weeks ago. I think you did a White Castle versus Red Cathedral video. I did, yeah. It was it was good. No, no hamburgers in sight, but. My number 45 has already been said by Carla, and if you watched my earlier list, this was much higher. This has not got bumped, gotten bumped because I don't like it as much. It just, there's a lot of games that have come out since, but this one I don't get to play very much. It's Cosmic Encounter. It's just so much fun. Pretty much everybody who plays Cosmic Encounter now that I've ever heard them talk to has picked on it, up on it from Tom, and I was one of those people as well. I love this game. Cosmic Encounter is great. Silly, strategic, tactical. Negotiations. Negotiations. Uh, um, number 45 for me involves cute little kitty cats and an island. JK, it's not that one. It involves... An island of yarn. It's no, number 45 for me involves cute little kitty cats and quilts. It is calico. I would have gone with cats and quilts. Would you also say this is another polyomino? No, because they're, they're, they're not... They're a certain shape. They're definitely shaped, but it's a tile-laying game. Oh, excuse me. I only say that because I got corrected. Here. Yeah. Who corrected you? Uh, I know somebody's like, well, I swear, probably all those are Okay, this the internet, go for it, correct yeah. me. The tile laying game. They don't do that on the internet often, they don't correct No, people. the internet is so nice and kind and a wonderful place for everybody. And brave. Very brave. Very. Yeah. <laughs> As we are on the internet. <laughs> yeah, that's a good choice. Calico didn't make my list, but I love it. But if you want to talk about a game that looks cute and cuddly and fun, but will make you furious... Calico's that game. Oh, you did get upset. I, it's the only time I've ever been like legit mad at a game. I was like, what in the world? I think you were just hungry because that is not a game to get angry about. Mm, there's cats, they're cute and everything. I shouldn't have got angry about it. That's great. My number 44, I know for a fact, is going to be a Carla's list without a doubt. This is Downton Abbey the board game Obsession. Oh my gosh, this game's good. I love it. And now I want to play it right now. I do too. It's so good. I mean, you're building out your manor, and you're doing tours, and you're getting points for it. It really does feel like down Abbey the game, just less personal drama. So, love me some obsession. It's fantastic. It is. And number 44 for me is Journeys into Middle Earth. Uh, that's a good one. I do love Lord of the Rings, I love Hobbits, and I love adventuring, and I love Mansions of Madness. And this is very similar to Mansions of Madness, but there are Hobbits and... I love Tolkien. He has been practicing that for 20 years. So That's true. Can you do Legos? I don't think uh, there was a point where I could do Gandalf, though. I feel like you did a Not all who wander a lost Frodo. Do Frodo. Um, uh, is that the one where he holds his hand down when his brother's drowning and he doesn't help him? Oh, that's the good son, Elijah Wood. and he'll, uh, Okay, do Gimli. That still only counts as one. John Reese Davies is national treasure. We don't need to lose him. He's solid for goodness sakes. Indy! Indy!
Number 43 is a game I just played recently. It is 1930. It's got a 19 in there, not an 18, because we're doing planes this time. And this game is great. Stock manipulation, although there are certain rules that won't let you go full board 18xx. You can't buy and sell stocks or stuff like that. It's just ways it works, but it's airplanes and you don't run routes, so you eliminate all the hard part of like... Is this 18xx game? It has similar flavor to it, but it doesn't have the route running and it doesn't have a couple of the heavier, harder things. It does take a long time, though. Okay. So 18xx games did not make my list. Uh, what? I'm shocked. But <laughs> 1930 Rio Grande games, ugly as homemade sin. What was that? Let me show you the box art. Oh, it's over there. It's just a hideous looking box art, but man, this game's good. I bet. There. Quick, what year did this game come out? Not this year, and not the current year. But, uh, actually it did come out the current year. I just can't understand this picture. I don't understand why it looks like that. But it's a great game. I love this game. That's why it's my number 43. Number 43 is a fairly new game. We've played this a whole bunch. It's a quick game. It is River Valley Glassworks. Yeah, I'll leave this game. It jumped game. right up into my list as soon as we played it, and we have played it a bunch. Yeah, like, I think we played this 10 times in three weeks. It's like, great. It's, it's a insane. quick game. It's a fun game. You're pulling, ro or you're choosing rocks, and you're putting them on your board. Yeah. Would it be riverbed rocks? Glass. Glass, yeah. Why is the glass in the river? Well, so you step on it and hurt yeah, your that's foot. That's true. <laughs> Thanks for breaking glass for my children play. Without a paddle. Great movie. I did not remember that. They, they christened the ship with a broken bottle and the guy told them, thank you for putting broken glass for my children play. It's All great. Right. Yeah, that's a good game. I'll probably talk more about it later. Uh, so that leads us to my number 42, Keep in line my 43, this is 18 Chesapeake. This is the intro game of 18xx games. It cuts down all the harder mechanics, but you still get the full stock market, the full running the routes. My gosh, this game's actually good and looking. I will still mess up the scoring every time. I'm just saying, somebody in here, who will remain unnamed, he put oh, too much money in the bank one time, and we played a lot longer than you should have. That Way too long, point. that game took five hours. I just assumed they'd give you the amount of money in the bank. You know, I didn't think about the fact it's nope. not. So, 18 Chesapeake, if you do want to try an 18xx game, this, try is one it the, <laughs> this is one of the best intros to it. I love this game. So. Only play with the right amount, though. Yes, big time. All right, number 42 for me is a beautiful game. Oh, that's pretty. And if you lay it out, you are creating quite the art. Quite the art. <laughs> <laughs> quite the art. It is canvas. It's fun. Mm. You're choosing cards and creating paintings. And they're, trans they're transparent, so like the stuff will stack onto each other from the three cards in the frame. It you can turn cool. the cards front or back, and that changes the way your canvas uh, looks. That's great. And it even names the paintings, too, but depending on what you've done, which yeah. is really cool. So it's, it's well done. Yeah, the symbols collection is so good. My number 41, the last one for this list, has already been sent by Carla, but I truly love this. This may be my favorite Euro game that I can think of. Probably not, but more heavier Euro. This is The Colonists. Again, four to six hour experience. Don't play it all in one day if you want sanity, unless you have the day plan for it, but just leave it on the table. Like, we've got the table on here, we can just leave it on and play. Um, so good. So, so good. So, that's The Colonist, your engine building, all the way to the end. Love it. Number 41 for me is okay. another... I know this was like a list. I was gonna say, what did you bring my mind? Mm -hmm. It is Caverna. It. it is a great game. It's great. You like Agricola. Other people say it differently. Agricola. Agricola. Hey, y'all going down to Agricola? Okay. Anyway, it's not that game. I got the flea market. Oh man, there is an Agricola, Florida, and that's why some people say it that sure. way. Other people probably say it the right way, and I just say Agricola. But anyway, that's not even the point of this, and I hope you cut all that out. It is Caverna. Bird is great. Love Caverna. Caverna, you are creating stuff for your cave people. Yeah, your cave dwellers, and it's got such a great board presence where you're putting your tiles out for the rooms the in their store. There. Yeah, so good. Still struggle to feed those people. Yeah, but it, you have a, a pasture and the rocks, which I like. So yeah, it's great. Man, it's good. I this probably should have been on my list and I can't broke my it's rule. Not. Well, I put Howard Tower and I was thinking. No more honorable mentions. You're done Stand in for all that. So that is our list, forty-one through fifty. We'll travel back to the thirties next time. That's right. We will. The thirties. See you later, Doctor. Who? Who?
everybody. Thanks for watching another video from the Dice Tower. Hey, you want to learn more about us? Communicate with us. We have a Facebook group. We have a Discord channel. Lots of different ways to get involved with the Dice Tower. You can find that in our Linktree link below. So just click that. It will take you and you can communicate with us on Facebook. Join our Facebook groups. There's lots of cool things that you can find and become part of the Dice Tower. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Tom Basil.